Okay, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast. We got here is it chapter one. You know, doesn't say chapter one anymore. This is the 2017 adaptation of the Stephen King massive novel, which I own a paperback and horror cover. Get on this real quick. Stephen King, it 1986. The novel came came out. I was reading King by then. I didn't read that one for a little while. But okay, yeah, I'll take a chance on it. Then what was it? Nineteen ninety. Four years later, the made for TV version came out. It was two nights on ABC. I think it was two hours each night. Might have been three. I don't remember. It's been a long time. And this one's kind of kind of remember because now back in the day when it was coming out, it, the adult cast was like the stars because there were kind of names. I mean, you had let's see. I'm trying to fuck all this up. Okay, you had Harry Anderson. Um, is Richie. You had uh, Annette O'Toole as Beverly. You had Tim Reed. I can't remember what his character's name is. John Ritter. Richard Thomas, of course. You had John Boyd from the Tim Curry as it. Nowadays, the people that are younger are seeing it after seeing it. The big stars in it is as kid version of Richie, you got Seth Green. And then as kid version of Beverly, you have, and I can't remember her name, of something Perkins. Uh, it's the girl that played the other sister in Ginger Snaps. That ended up being in one, two, and three. I can't think of her name now. It's one of her early roles. Well, this is the remake. This is 2017. And what they did is they kind of, it is a film, they kind of did smart. Because the book's kind of divided in half, too. This first film is the kids' version. What it is is every 27 to 30 years in this town of Derry up in Maine, this fucking clown just shows up and starts killing kids. The kids start disappearing, and nobody really pays a lot of attention to it. Well, a couple of the kids, the Losers Club, starts charting the town and realizes this, so they decide they're going to do something about it. Now, the original book is supposed to be the, um, the stuff with the kids happened in like the late 50s, if I'm remembering right, whereas with the adults, it was the time of the books, like 86 or so. This film, they moved it up to the 80s. That way, in the second film, they're supposed to be like 20 years older. It could be the early 2000s or 30 years older. Because they're supposed to be pushing like 40, I think, by the time they have to come. Yeah, it would be, they're like 10, and then it's 27, 30 years. Yeah, it'd be about 40. I was shocked at how good this was. Cause I love that original made-for-TV miniseries. I got it on blue. I think I've done a video on it. I love the book. It's one of those where I read the book. Probably six months for the miniseries up here, and I'm like, there's no way they're gonna be able to act this worth of shit for TV. And they actually did. Yes, there's stuff they left out. Yes, the ending of the miniseries fucking sucks. But to be honest, it suffers from the thing that King suffered, has suffered from for years where his books are good, then he gets an end, he's like, well, fuck, I don't know what to do here, and comes up, pulls something out of his ass. In the movie, you know, they're fighting a fucking giant spider. They don't. They don't explain in the movie what the spider, that's actually just what they're seeing. That's how their mind perceives the entity that is it, or the Crimson King. Or, you know, is it maybe Randall Flagg? That's one of those things. And this, now I'm not seeing the second part yet, i got to get it. It is so good. And like I said, Tim Curry played Pennywise the Clown, the original hit. This has, uh, like, something Scarsgar. Bill Scars got. Let me see him right there with the bullet. He is fucking. That's the thing. Tim Curry. And I think Tim Curry's better as Pennywise than this guy. Tim Curry can convey at the same time being creepy and a little bit funny. This guy, you seem like, oh, fuck that. Dude was creepy. At all. And this is another one of those where, like, it came out. Eh, I'll see it eventually. It aired on, um. Stars or one of those. I recorded on the DVR and before I get it watch, somebody else watch it and delete it. It's like, hey, fuck it. Then one day I'm in a pawn shop and found the Blu ray for like a buck. Right, I'll buy it. It sat on the shelf forever. And then a few weekends ago, we we're having a movie night. So I said, what the hell? Put this on and love the hell. I was expecting not to like it. I really was because, I mean, I like to say, I like the original, but. This had a film. It's not going like this one. It turned out to be way, way better than I expected. Like, way better. I was pleasantly surprised. But, I got to see the second part. Now, I've heard the second part's not that great. I haven't, like I said, I've not seen it. The kids that get to act this, the only one, I recognize one of them from, he's been on Stranger Things. 
and he he was decent. All the kid actors are pretty good in their parts. Some of the adults were a little janky, but it wasn't horrible. Effects works really good. I mean, definitely worth tracking down. I figured by now, in 2007, it's four years ago. Everybody's seen this. I'm behind. I'm always behind on horror films, unless it's, especially big stuff like this, because this is the kind of stuff where I'm like, oh, man. I go see it in theaters. It's going to be packed full of people. They're going to be making noises or cell phone fun. <laughs> I'll put it this way. The last two films I've seen in any theater were we went and saw New Mutants last year in late August, early September when the theater reopened and it was just her and I. We were the only two people in the theater. And then before that would be when opening weekend for Doctor Strange. <laughs> to see that. And it was in with that pack. It was nice. It looked good in 3D. But I just, I don't go... And a big part of that is now the, my closest movie theater fucking sucks. I used to drive down to the coast drive three hours to go see a movie. Three hours, spend the night my cousins, come back the next day because they had good theater. That's the thing. And here in Mississippi, it's odd. Like our good, our best theater is on the coast, not in the capital. Up in Jackson, there's not any theaters worth the shit. And now with everything, you know, movie theaters are kind of dying off. But definitely check this out. This is definitely one to check out. What's it does look like? This is an extra rental from someplace. Unless that pawn shop puts those on every DVD, I haven't noticed it. And so there's a place for a second desk. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Yep, get it, yep. It wasn't shit. All right, I'm out, everybody. Remember, if you enjoyed that, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.